minor cuts or headaches, you'll probably have all you need at home. Let's give your medical cabinet a checkup. Before we go into details, let's check where you store your medicine, bathroom or kitchen. Please don't. The moisture or heat can cause your pills and liquid medicines to lose potency. Better, store it in your bedroom closet on a higher shelf. This way it's in a stable environment and out of the reach of children. Now, what are you able to treat from home? First of all, store your prescribed medicine. These you'll need on a regular basis and are a must. Apart from that pain, headaches and fever can be reduced by aspirin or ibuprofen. Also, remember to have a thermometer at hand. For saving space, only buy regular strength. You can just take two pills, if you need a higher dose. For coughs you'll need cough medicine and with allergies eye drops and antihistamines help. Digestive problems come in variety. Try to have something at hand for acid reflux, severe flatulences, diarrhea and congestion. But be very careful when using them. For cuts and burns always have enough medical stripes in various shapes, bandages and gauze pads at home. You might want to add antibiotic ointment to your supply, so you can clean the wounds. Also, make sure to have tweezers to remove splinters. Check your medical supply at least once a year. Get rid of everything that's beyond its expiration date or has been opened more than half a year ago. Are you sufficiently stocked? Don't forget, for severe symptoms, bypass your home supplies and go straight to a doctor.